In this video, we're going to look at a fun concept. We're going to set up a world map view that has some interesting dynamic properties to it. It shows a real-time view of day and night across the globe. This comes from the website, which is timeanddate.com. And this includes dynamic information, which is push pin locations, which you're going to be able to designate on the map and also indicate the current time at each of those push pin locations. So it's a really neat concept, a great thing to feature on a landing page in your SharePoint site. And we're going to walk through all the steps to set it up. So now let's get SharePoint smart. So here it is. This is a preview. This is going to be linked under the video so you can check it out. This is the map that we're going to be showing in our SharePoint environment. And you're going to be able to define push pin locations for different areas around the globe according to uh, whichever locations are of relevance or importance to you. So much like the other templates at the SharePoint dashboard site, you can make adjustments to the size of the map. Uh, you can adjust the size of these pin locations, um, or you can also change the colors as well. You might check out the different theme options if you're interested in that. Um, or if you just want the colors to be assigned in the push pins dynamically, you can just check the multicolor pins option. So not a lot of configuration options that you need to worry about for this template. Most of our work and setups can be in SharePoint. So to get started with this, the first thing you should do is download the SharePoint list template file, which is called daynightmap.stp. Just click on that link there that will download a file to your desktop. And then you're going to go ahead and upload that list template to your SharePoint environment. Make sure that you read through the notes in the blue box in the lower left corner in this template. It gives you some important details about how this template works. Also, there's an important link to manage list templates. It'll explain the steps that you need to do to be able to load that template to your SharePoint environment in case you haven't worked with that before. In our case, I've already loaded that STP file and therefore I can use that list as a template in my SharePoint site and we're going to pick up right at that step. So I'm going to go to my site contents and I'm going to um, make sure I'm in classic mode. I've already got this in classic mode from a setting I just applied. In your case what you'll do is um, toggle into that. So by default you're going to see modern, click on return to classic SharePoint, you do need to be in this mode in order to be able to select that list template. So once you've added that, you can page through uh, in this classic view and you should see it as the one of the last options um, in your list here. So it's called day night map and you just click on that. And I'm going to uh, put um, Let's see, we'll do, let's do mega corp locations and create. That'll create the list from the template. Once you've done that, you want to get out of that classic view. We don't need it anymore. It was just necessary in order to access that list template. So I got to do exit classic experience. And at this point, I want to go to my list. So I'm, I have a lot of lists in this site. So Megacorp locations. Obviously, you can call your list whatever you want. What's important is that we use the template. The template's got a lot of fields in it, which is used with this map. So if you go to the list setting screen, you can get a lay of the land. So what you're going to notice is there's a set of four fields for up to 10 locations. So uh, what you'll see is location one, that's the name of the location. 
location one offset. Offset's referring to offset from GMT time. There um, is a link provided in the template screen if you need to look that up, but that's part of the required configuration in order to designate what is the offset for that particular location. And then the other two settings are where to put that pin on the map. It's an X, Y coordinate for that. So you're gonna see just exactly how that's gonna work in a second. So you can have anywhere from one up to as many as 10 locations on a single map. So um, that's just explaining to you what the fields are in there. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and give it a title. This will be displayed on the label at the bottom. So. I'll say Megacorp and then locations, just like that. And then I'm gonna put a couple of location values in. So we're gonna kind of get ready for this template we're getting ready to apply. So I'm gonna put where I am, which is Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And then you're not gonna know this initially. So um, you gotta look that up. So if you know your offset from um, your time zone, you can put that in. I'm on East Coast in the US, that's minus four hours from GMT time. Um, and then I will put in an X and Y coordinate. Now I don't know exactly where those are initially, so I'm just gonna seed it with a value. Um, and then we're gonna adjust it. I'm gonna give you a tip on how to tweak that until you get the push pins right at the location that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a second location. We're gonna do Sydney, Australia. And I happen to know the offset um, for GMT on that is plus 10. So I'm just gonna put the number 10 there. And that's gonna adjust the time that's shown. And I also know it's on the, um, on the side of the map. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 700 and 200 here. I'm just putting in some initial values. I'm not gonna have those push pins right when I first do this. We'll see that in a second. So I'm just setting up a map here with two locations just to get started. So I've got that data in there. You'll notice in your template, there's an all items view and a day night view. So I'm gonna switch over to the day night view and that's where I'm going to apply this template. So I'm gonna get a couple of tabs going here. So in one tab, I'm gonna have the all items view, which I'm gonna be tweaking. You're gonna see that in just a second. And then the other tab, that's where I'm gonna apply the template. So now, I can come back to SharePoint dashboards and I'm ready to apply that template. So let me go ahead and refresh my screen and I'm just gonna kind of stick to some of the default settings initially and then I will um, come back and make adjustments in a second. So I'm gonna stick with the default so I can go ahead and click copy template and then follow directions in the box. And then I'm going to switch back over and go to the view selector, then format current view, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. All right, so I've got my two locations on here. We're gonna to start to see how things work. Now, the problem is those locations aren't quite right. Um, this is showing the current time, it's 7.18 p.m. And when I hover over the location, notice that it's gonna show the respective time zone. So that's correct. It is 718 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Notice when I hover over Sydney, Australia, it's 918 AM. That's uh, the offset time. So now you can start to see the value of this map and these locations. It is also showing me a real-time view from timeanddate.com um, where it is night and where it is day. And then you can see in the uh, partly shaded bands, you know, where it's um, turning to dusk, um, and then um, you know when it's uh, first thing in the morning, that type of thing. So it's dynamic. This is gonna refresh and update automatically anytime anyone opens up that page. So I need to get these push pins to the right location. So that's just a process of tweaking. So I know my Winston-Salem location needs to move over a bit. So I'm gonna do edit grid view. And I noticed that the um, the X is needs to be more, and I probably need to move it down a little bit. So what I can do is just make these quick updates, 
and you can see um, it just moves the push pin over on the map. So I can just sit there and tweak that a little bit until I get it exactly where I want it to be. So I need to move it back a little bit to the left. Um, so I can just um, go like that. And the Y um, location is about correct. And I just keep coming back over. Whoops, that's not correct. Let me try that again. Um, Add it in grid view. It's way too far down now. Um, then the location one X should be that. And I'll just refresh the page. Okay, so you can keep doing that until you get that push pin in the exact right location. And let's mess with the one for Sydney, Australia. So there's a set of these for each location. So um, for that one, I know it needs to come down. So I need to increase the Y value. Um, so that should be more like this and it needs to come over a little bit. So I'll move that like so. I'll just hit exit grid view and we'll see it kind of update real time for us. Okay. All right, so that's not precisely correct, but I'm not going to bore you guys by fine tuning it. So that's it. That's everything involved. Now at this stage, what you want to do is display that on a page. So let's cover that real quick. Um, so I've got this list called Megacorp locations and a view called day night view. So that's what I want to display over on a regular page. Like I say, this is what you want to put on a landing page. So um, let's go to the home and we'll do a new page and I'll just click create page and I'm going to put um, locations day plus time map okay and then you know you can pick a nice looking image um, I'll just stick with one of these stock images um, I'll just go with that for now and I'm gonna edit the appearance of that because I like that first option I can get rid of that text box I don't need that so I'll trash can it and I want to use the list web part so I'm gonna go here and do list and then you gotta scroll down through your list All right, so I've got lots of things in my list so I want um, mega corp there it is all right so there's the list and now I need to configure to see what I want to see so I need to make sure I pick the day night view and then I want to hide the command bar hide the see all we don't need to see that and then auto size that'll be correct so let's click apply there it is um, I don't really necessarily see, need to see the title above either, so a little trick with that, you can just put a space, and I'll publish. And now we actually have a landing page where we can display that. So we're out of the list view, and we have something we can share with our users. And it's got still the same functionality, I can hover over. So. As I mentioned, this is dynamic, so at the bottom it's showing my local time as a user, um, and then when I hover over the bubbles, it's showing um, what the time is in each of those respective locations. So you could put your push pins anywhere you want to on the map. You could have as many as 10 push pins on there, and then you can tweak this. So if you want to have larger push pins, you can do that. If you want to have an array of colors, um, you can select the multicolor option. You can tweak the color and font on the bottom if you wish to do that. The label at the bottom is controlled by the title field in your list. So that's everything that you need in order to be able to set up this dynamic world locations map that's showing you a real-time day-night view and real-time offset local times based on multiple different locations. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, as I mentioned, that template's at SharePointDashboards.com. It's going to be linked below the video. This is a nice landing page option for you. 
Generally, this is designed around the concept of a single SharePoint record in your list, though naturally you can, if you want, set up multiple maps if this is something where there's lots of different locations you're tracking. If you have a different kind of scenario going on, um, that's certainly another possibility as well. So I hope you liked that and found that interesting. If you're new to the SharePoint dashboards templates, you can go to sharepointdashboards.com and if you click in there, you'll find where you can sign up to get access to 21 free templates. And then if you go on and subscribe, there are more than 150 templates in total available for subscribers. I hope you like that. If you have any questions, post it below the video and good luck.